going on everyone? It's Brainwitch Code You Find Jewelry, Shore Personal Jewelry. In this video, we're gonna review why this two and a half millimeter rope chain is the most dominant gold chain in gold chain history. With that being said, let's get started. The rope chain historically has been the most popular chain design of all time. So people are used to seeing looks like this and want to duplicate that look. Now, if you're starting off with a gold chain or don't have the budget to get a six millimeter 22 inch rope, then you're gonna go with something like this. The two and a half millimeter 22 inch diamond cut rope chain and here we are we know the rope chain is the most popular chain of all time and for a starter chain around 10 grams this is the look right here and that is why people love the two and a half millimeter rope chain it is very versatile as i'll show later in this video I remember back in the day when trying to get a Miami Cuban link, I was used to seeing the big eight, the 10 millimeters, and then I discovered that they came in the smaller sizes, the 3.2 millimeter that we sell, and I want a bracelet because in my mind, I always wanted a Miami Cuban link. I thought they were cool and classic, but I could not really afford those heavy styles. So I, when I saw the 3.2, the fact that I could at least get a Miami Cuban link, I jumped on it and loved it. It's the same thing with these rope chains. You see and envision all the thicker styles. They've been so popular, that Mr. T look. When you can get a smaller size in your budget, the highest quality and real gold, you go for it. On my neck, I got the two and a half millimeter 20 inch, and this is the most popular length for the two and a half millimeter rope. Um, there's a few reasons as to why that is. A lot of people get this with the intent to layer a thicker 22 inch down the road or to add a pendant. I like to add pendants to 20 inch chains. The shorter look is good for me. And if you're a skinnier build, the 20 inch is gonna look like a 22 inch. And of course, it is cheaper than the longer lengths because it's less gram weight of course next we have the two and a half millimeter 22 inch rope chain and when you're trying to compare if you're new to this the difference between two inches on the neck is actually one inch one inch on each side so the difference between a 20 and a 22 inch realistically is one inch in length so it's not that drastic of a difference but i want to show the layering references this is a jacoji video and that's what we do now i love the Two and a half rope chain, the beauty besides these diamond cuts shining in the sun is the ability to add a mini size, a smaller pendant to it. Because the rope chains are rounded, they're perfect for pendants. The diamond cuts shine and just complements the pendants so well. So I put on our most popular pendant. Why not? The most popular chain, the most popular pendant, the mini angel pendant at 20 inches. Like I said, I love chains and pendants at 20 inches, a little shorter with that drop it makes a little bit of difference to get it a little the illusion of a longer chain slightly but here it is so i love the idea of just going with a solitaire chain to start out get a real solid gold chain a two and a half millimeter rope and then you have the ability to add a smaller pendant when you want to spice it up a little bit how this goes is you get your first gold chain get the gold fever and then want to layer and add it mr t start out with one gold rope legend says and you know how that ended up so on my neck i got the two and a half millimeter rope chain with a mini angel and then you graduated to that next level and added what well, i would add to complement it a three millimeter franco 24 inch why I went with the 24 inch to allow that separation. If you want the ultimate layering look, the 24 inch would be good. Now, if you could fit into an 18 inch chain, then you go 22 inches. Just allow that four inches in difference so you have a little spacing. Depending on your pendant size, of course, the mini angel is round one inch. So keep that in mind. Next, if you want to not go with a 24 inch for more daily wear, I personally would probably go 20 inch same length as I like to do. I went with the thicker four millimeter rope, 20 inches. So because that mini angel kind of anchors it down a little bit, there is a little spacing between the two, um, which offers a great look. I love rope chains stacked together. So if you want another rope, go a little bit thicker. Um, in time, save that money, go with something a little bit thicker. You'll be glad you did. Depends if you want same length layering or how you want to wear it, but those are some options there. I don't really want to drag on this video. I just want to wrap it up. The moral of this story is the rope chain is the most popular chain of all time and people looking to start or add a simple subtle chain like the two and a half millimeter, the gram weight and price works for a lot of people. That is why this is the most popular chain. You get a lot of look 
for not the price and you're still buying a high quality solid chain. You're not buying a semi or hollow crap chain. You're buying the real deal. So the two and a half millimeter works for those reasons. Add a small pendant, layer it. You're gonna love it. A lot of people do. We sell thousands of these every single year and they just keep selling because like I mentioned, Rogue Chain is so popular. The two and a half millimeter is a good entry level chain and then a good chain as well if you just wanna use it for a pendant. Let me know down below what you think of the two and a half millimeter rope, why you think it dominates every other chain and chain size. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next jewelry video.